what is going on guys welcome back to the channel my name is Derek and in today's video we're doing a quick little tutorial on how to set up separate audio tracks inside of OBS studio this also works inside of Streamlabs OBS but for uh, simple sake I'm just gonna do it inside OBS studio and you can figure it out inside Streamlabs OBS with that said let's go ahead and roll the intro and jump right in <laughs> All right, guys, as I said, this is going to be a super quick tutorial. However, if it does help you out, please remember to smash that like button. That helps me out tremendously. It helps get the video some engagement as well as getting seen by other people. Also, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you know any other ways of doing any of the things I talk about uh, you know, better. Uh, that way we can all learn from each other. And uh, if you got nothing to add, just maybe leave an emoji or something down in the comments below or a hello or anything uh, just to create some engagement on the video. I would appreciate it very, very much. Let's dive right in. To set up separate audio tracks, you might be asking first and foremost, why would I want to do this? Well, the reason you would want to set up separate audio tracks is mainly for recording files. So when you do a live stream, you can only set up inside of OBS. If we go here to the output in our settings of OBS Studio, and you gotta have advanced mode on. If you don't know how to set it up, I have a whole video masterclass on how to set everything up inside OBS. You should go watch that. You should be in the advanced tab. And if you notice under the streaming tab, you have audio track one, two, three, four, five, six. On the streaming side, you can only select one audio track. However, on the record inside, you can select or deselect all the way from audio track one to audio track six for a total of six different tracks. So this mainly is used for your recorded file, not for streaming. And the reason you would want to use multiple tracks, multiple audio tracks, is so that you can separate the audio inside of your recorded file into different tracks. And what I mean by separate the audio is you could have, for example, your microphone on audio track one. You could have your Discord on audio track two. You could have your game volume on audio track three. You could have your music on audio track four, etc. So you can set each of these different audio tracks. That way, when you go to edit the file inside of Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve or whatever program it is that you use to edit, you can then have each of those sources as a separate track and that they're not all smashed together, meaning maybe you were playing a game and you didn't realize it at the time while you were streaming, but your teammates volumes were too loud and your volume, your mic volume was too low. Well, if you have everything in one audio track, there's no way for you to turn up your microphone without also turning up your teammates microphones which completely defeats the purpose of what you're trying to accomplish so with separate audio tracks you could then turn up the audio track that has your mic separately from the audio track that has your teammates microphones you know discord skype whatever it is you're using as well as your game audio your music again all of that another example is maybe you have your music on stream but when you go to edit your video to make TikTok videos or to make youtube videos or whatever you don't want that music in there anymore you can have your music on a separate track which means when you get into your editing program you can just completely delete the music track out and you're left still with all your other volume but without your music so how do we set that up well first things first you're going to want to select which audio track you are going to use for streaming so i have audio track one selected here for my streaming and what that means is we're going to use audio track one for everything so meaning our microphone, our teammates' microphones, our music, our game sounds, our desktop audio, all of that is going to go to track one. That way we can push it out to our stream because, again, you cannot do separate audio tracks on a live stream. Then under our recording tab, we're going to want to select all the remaining tracks that we're going to use. For example, I like to leave audio track one checked, even though that's going to be a mix of everything, because sometimes you want to do a quick video, maybe a quick TikTok or something, and everything is already balanced correctly. So you can just delete all the other audio tracks and just use audio track one, and you can just boom, do a quick edit and you're done. But if you don't want to use that channel, if you want everything separate, you can just unselect channel one. And then you can also, depending on how much you separate your different audio sources, 
Decide how many more audio tracks you want to use. For example, if you're just doing your mic, your teammates Discord, Skype, whatever, so your teammates mics, and game audio, you would only need three tracks. So you could do two, three, and four, and leave five and six unchecked. For the sake of this, and also because I use all six, I'm gonna leave all six checked. And then once you have that selected, you can hit apply. So once we do that, have that set up, we need to go to our advanced audio properties. So the way that we get to our advanced audio properties is one of two ways. First, you can click on edit up here and just click advanced audio properties, or you can click any of the gear icons by any of your uh, audio mixer sources down here in the audio mixer and choose advanced audio properties there. And when you do, it's gonna bring up this. And you're gonna have all of your different sources. Anything that creates sound is going to be shown in this audio property. Now, this will only be for the scene that you currently have up. If you need to adjust another scene, for example, you would need to go like to your just chat and screen, and then you know, you're gonna have different audio sources in there. So you have to go to whatever scene you're wanting to change. But once you set it on one scene, it's set on all the scenes, but just not all of them appear. Now you can select this active sources only and everything will appear. And that might be a better way to do it actually. I forgot that you could do that to be completely honest. But anyways, if you uncheck the active sources only, that'll show you the audio sources that are in every single scene that you have on here, as well as every single audio mixer thing and everything like that. So when you're seeing this, you're gonna see a bunch of different stuff. For example, I have browser sources, which are my alerts for Twitch and YouTube. I have my beacon mix, which allows me to separate all my audio into different sources because you do need to do that. And this is not a tutorial on how to separate all of your different audio sources. If you need to learn how to do that, I do have a video on it and there's other videos on YouTube that explain how to do it. So once you have that set up, so I'm using Beacon Mix Create. Then these like chat box underscore frame dot webm, that is different things like these animated backgrounds, graphics that I use for my different themes and stuff. And so none of these actually have any audio attached to them. So we don't actually need those at all to be used. Then you can see like I have my Oculus headset, which is, you know, when I plug in my Oculus headset, it's the sound that's going to my Oculus headset. You have Restream Chat, which again is another browser source. Uh, again, all of these with the play icon are media sources added in, like the Synthwave background, all of that. None of those have audio, so we don't need any of those, so they can be unchecked or whatever. So the way that you do this, so again, you have all of your different things listed. So the way that you do this is you wanna find the ones that you want to use. For example, we have our Mic Ox 2, which is my, my microphone. We have the Beacon Mix, and then over here on the right side, you can see tracks. And so what you can do with the tracks is you can select what tracks you want those sounds to be on. First thing I like to do is any of like these audio sources that I don't need on, I like to turn them completely off. Just that way uh, it's a little easier. And then once you figure out the sources that you actually need, and just for ease of, of sake of showing you guys, I switch back to just the active sources. So for example, the ones that I need here, I have my alerts for Twitch and YouTube, which are browser sources. I have my Beacon Mix, which is my Beacon Mix Create Audio Mix. I have my Cam Link, which I don't need. That's why I have it all unchecked over here in the tracks. I have my Mic Ox 2, which is my actual microphone here. And then I have my Oculus headset, which is my, you know, when I'm doing VR and stuff. And so then what you do is you use the tracks here inside the advanced audio properties to select what tracks you want them to be on. So the first thing we want to do is our alerts, our beacon mix create. And again, yours will look different depending on the sources you have. Our microphone, our Oculus headset. Again, we have track one set to our stream. All of the audio that we want to come through on the stream, we want to have checked for track one. Then what we can do is uncheck everything else. And then once we do that, we can select what we want on different audio tracks. For example, we could put my microphone on track number two. We could put the beacon mix create on track number three. We could put alerts and I'll check both of them on track number four. We could put the Oculus headset on track number five and so forth. Then when you load up the video file when you're done inside of Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, whatever, you'll see all these different audio tracks below your video file. And the first one will have all of your audio sources. A track two would be my microphone. Track three would be my beacon mix. 
Track four would be my alerts. Track five would be my Oculus headset. You might have music on a track, whatever. However you end up setting it up, but that is how you would add the different sources and then choose the different tracks that you want. Then the only other thing to note is you need to make sure if we go back into settings and we go to output and back to this recording tab, we want to make sure the recording format is set to MKV. So if you set to MP4, you'll see warning recording save to MP4 slash MOV will be unrecoverable if the file cannot be finalized. Example, uh, blue screens of death, power losses, etc. If you want to record multiple audio tracks, consider using MKV and remux the recording to MP4 or slash MOV after it is finished. So MKV. If uh, we lose power or whatever, what, whatever you have recorded so far, you'll still have access to. And then also it allows for the use of multiple audio tracks. So make sure you select MKV here. It is the best option to use in my opinion. And then what you want to do is also, I'm sorry, in the settings, if you go to advanced, right here under recording, there's an automatically remux to MP, MP4. And there's a checkbox. So make sure that is checked as well and hit reply. When you're done recording and you hit the stop recording button, it'll automatically take that MKV file and remux it to an MP4 file so that it is recognizable and more easily used inside of other applications like Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, or whatever. As MKV is not as friendly uh, of a Kodak. Uh, and that is exactly how you set up multiple audio tracks inside of OBS so that you can have multiple audio tracks on your video files as you do your recordings so that you can individually adjust volumes of everything separately in post audio if you want to or completely remove entire things like music if you want to, even though they might still be in your live streams. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. And again, if this video helped you out, make sure you smash that like button down below. That helps me out tremendously. Also, leave a comment. Give me some engagement, please, if it helped you. Whatever, an emoji, a hello, whatever. Love your faces. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out, everybody. Later, nerds.